Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll complete this 2D technical drawing using AutoCAD. It's quite easy to do so anyways guys let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to open up our title block document. If you don't already have a title block then please go and make one. The next thing that we have to do is we have to check our units. So just type UN for units. I'm using a precision of two decimal places. You're free to use what you like and I'm also using the international uh, metric scale so once you're happy with that just press ok then you need to set up your page so you can write PAG for page setup once you've got that you can modify your layout and just make sure that you are on AutoCAD high quality PDF for your printer and your paper size is the ISO expand A4 you also want to make sure that you are in the landscape mode and that the scale is set to 1 to one so one millimeter is equal to one unit once you're happy with all of that just press ok and close now we can actually start on this drawing so there are a few things that we have to look at for this drawing number one you've got a bunch of circles over here and you've got the height from this center point now this is where I'm going to start because it has the most information so every time you start one of these CAD drawings anywhere where you can actually begin with the most information that's where you want to start so the first thing that we're going to do here is I'm just going to draw a circle and this is going to have a diameter of 34 so I'm going to put that one in but I'm also going to start with the diameter of 60 so I'm just going to put a spot over here and then I'm going to write 30 and that's going to give me a diameter of 60. So you can change where you want the circle to be. So if you want a radius, you can select radius or if you want the diameter, you can select the diameter. So since we're here, we can go in here and we can put a diameter of 34 and now we have that circle done in there. So that's that section done. Now we need to go from this point here all the way to this side over here which will give us the next lot of circles so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the line tool now if you don't have your snaps on please make sure that you turn on the snaps that you need so for example I'm just going to turn them all on for now and then when I don't need them I will take them off so now I'm just going to grab the line tool and I'm going to draw the line down 45 so now we've got that line there and then across it's going to be 90 and then I'm going to just press escape. So now this will give me that area right there. So now I'm going to set that to a radius of 20 for the outer circle and a radius of 9 for the inner circle. So I'm going to go back to center radius and then I'm going to draw those two circles. So the first one is going to be 20 and then the next one is going to be nine cool so now that we've got that so now we have to go up all the way and so from here to there is going to be 20 so we just start from here and we write 20 and then we go across 90 as well so I'm just using that as the guiding point so once I have that then I need again two circles one with a radius of 12 and then also we have we have to find the radius of 54. Now, like I said, you can either go straight to diameter if you like, or if you want to keep it at center radius and you want a calculator, there is a calculator built into AutoCAD and you can find it here. So you can go 54 divided by two and that will give us 27. So whichever way you do it, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to put in a radius of 27 and then I'm going to put in a radius of 12. So now I've got all the circles and it's looking pretty good. Now we have to get the arc from this side to this side and then we also need another arc in there. So now it's pretty good because we can go into our circle tool over here and what we want is we want this one over here so the tan tan and radius so this will create a circle with a specified radius tangent to two objects so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to click on that and then i'm going to click the tangent for both these sides and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the radius of 70 and so if you've done that correctly now you will create 
that arc that we're looking for. Now we don't need the rest because we don't really need it, but we're going to use the trim tool to clean that up a little bit later. So we're going to use the same tool again for this arc in here. So I'm just going to click over here and I'm going to click over here and I'm going to write the radius of 32. And now that's created that little section in there. And that's pretty much it for this drawing. So the next thing that we have to do is we just have to clean it up. So the first thing is I'm just going to grab the trim tool and you can either click or you can uh, hold your mouse button down and drag and you can highlight objects like that. So we don't need any of that. We don't need any of that. We don't need any of that. We don't need this. We don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, we don't need this line over here. We don't need that line. We don't need that line. We don't need that. Also that. Now, if you go too far and you need to undo, you can always press Control Z to undo that. Now, I am going to have to zoom in to get to that section over there. And yeah, so now the final thing that we have to do is we just have to join this side to this side. Now, with all the snaps on, it's just not going to work. So I'm just going to make sure that I turn off every one of them except for the tangent. And then once I've done that, then I can easily connect these two together just like that. And so that's pretty much it for the drawing. Now we just have to dress it up a little bit. So the first thing that we will have to do is I'm just going to come over here to uh, annotate and I'm going to put my center marks in. So I'm going to put a center mark for each of the circles. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to home and I'm going to dimension a few things. So I'm just going to click on this circle over here. I'm also going to click on this circle. So I'm going to go and put the dimensions there. And then I'm also going to put this area over here. So that will be the radius of 32. And then I'm just going to put another dimension for this circle. So it will be 54. And while I'm here, I might as well just put that radius in of 70 and we'll do one more on this last circle so that should be 40. so when you dimension your drawing just make sure that you have at least three that will try to show if someone had to recreate it the main components of your drawing so anyways guys the final thing to do is to just change your name uh put the right you know drawing number change the date and also put your name on it so anyways guys that's about it for this quick CAD tutorial on how to draw tangents and circles this is your second practice drawing anyways guys i will see you in the next video see ya